So in terms of what cumulative effects are, cumulative effects certainly is a term that we hear all the time. It's in the press, it's in public, uh, public forums, any kind of feedback that we receive on any number of projects these days is always seems to be referring to cumulative effects. But cumulative effects has a fairly specific definition and the definition that is used most commonly is that cumulative effects are changes to environmental, social, and economic values caused by the combined effect of present but also considering past and foreseeable future actions or events. And although this is a fairly tight definition, it, it turns out to be kind of problematic when you apply it in an operational sense. And for instance, if we talk about, say, past activity, so I think the idea here makes a lot of sense. If you want to, if you're trying to understand whether or not you should issue a permit for something today, you want to know what has been the effect of all the past issuance of permits on that particular value. But it turns out to be fairly problematic because, say, if we look at a terrestrial example from the central interior of BC where, say, moose is a very important value to First Nations communities there, and we want to understand whether the issuance of a permit is going to affect the value of moose. To understand what the impact has been in the past, you have to establish some sort of eco ecological baseline. The trick is that 10 years ago, there were probably a lot more moose in that area. 75 to 100 years ago, there were a lot fewer moose, and 200 years ago, there were no, no moose at all. So what's the appropriate ecological baseline? And really, to, to look at this past impact problem, you can find yourself into a very complex and deep discussion academic discussion about what those ecological baselines should be when really this whole process should be more forward-looking what are the desired conditions that we want to manage to in some cases what's happened in the past is not particularly important although it's under it's important to understand from the past how different stressors affect where we are now on the other side defining reasonably foreseeable doesn't actually get much easier because I've talked to statutory decision makers in some parts of the province where there might be five coal mines proposed. Well, what I've heard from those statutory decision makers is how can I make a decision about a permit today based on what on coal mines that may or may not get built five to ten years out? I don't know if one of those coal mines is going to be built or 10 of those coal mines. So how is that going to inform my decision making? So defining reasonably foreseeable is, a, is an issue as well. So how do we operationalize this kind of definition into something that's actually going to work? And I think the key here is to really focus in on the problem that we're trying to solve. And in this case, after lots of thought, I think that it really comes down to the issue that's that's described here, that if you're considering only project-specific effects, you can have the accumulation of unintended impacts over time. So each project might produce a very small impact, but if you issue a whole bunch of those permits and you have a whole bunch of those projects going on, those little tiny impacts can accumulate over time and produce situations that you don't want. And it's very easy to, it's an insidious problem, but it's really at, this, at the root of the cumulative effects issue. How can we solve it? Well, the solution is to make sure that we're not changing the goalposts. So the problem usually is proponents will say, well, look, my project has a very small impact. You can't turn down my project when it's only causing this much impact and so that project gets approved and then the next one comes along and can make the same argument and what's actually happening of course is that those goalposts are being moved over time but what we need to do in order to to halt that problem is to establish where those goalposts are that is to establish consistent objectives draw the line in the sand and make sure that all sectors respect the same line and that really is at the heart of managing cumulative effects.